Hey everybody, surf fishing Florida. We're at New Smyrna Beach. It's high tide right now and the conditions look amazing. Now we need to get some fish. All right, here's the opening up shark bait. I got two big frozen whiting heads. This is one of them with a 10-0 Super Mutu and four foot of 480 cable. And we're going with the big Tika and our other Daiwa BG-8000. <laughs> She's got one. Well, that seems like a good fish, woman. Oh, it's a pompano. Wow, good job. Hold him up. Wow, he's probably a keeper too. We were here seven and a half hours, two days ago, and couldn't even get a single bite. Yeah. All right, we're not gonna keep it though, but that's a keeper. Good job. Actually, I want some whiting for bait. All right, let him go. She caught that pompano probably 10 feet from the edge of the surf. I mean, that's how she fishes a lot, real close, and she holds the rod. That drop off right at the edge is probably over four feet deep right now because it's high tide. And the fish run right along that. Usually she catches her big whiting like that. Here's the setup for the day. I got the big Tika with an 11 foot leader and that whiting head on the left and about 20 yards on the right is her little bait rod and she's got it back in the pipe she was holding it the whole time after she caught the pompano she's only got one bite that's it and like i said we fished the other day for seven and a half hours and didn't even get a single bite i couldn't even make a video out of it so that's why we came today we didn't expect the conditions to be this good but the fishing's the same, nothing. Well, we've been here three hours. The conditions just look amazing. But it's like the other day, she's only got one bite and it was the pompano and she caught it. It's about two hours after high tide. And I believe as the tide goes out, the surf's gonna kind of flatten out and maybe I can get to that hump and throw it out there in what is really the first cut and still have a shot of getting a big black tip. So we'll find out as the day goes on. We've been here over five hours. It's about an hour and a half to uh, low tide. And I switched the setup. So her little bait rod went to the left because there's the, the drop off there is about 20, 25 feet wide. And I put the shark rod on the right. And now I can walk out on the hump of sand, throw it into what is really the first cut and shows up on camera. Those far waves, the white curls, that's where the other sandbar begins. So there's that little, probably 30 yards wide section that I'm going to throw the shark rod in that's probably at least five feet deep which is plenty so we might be staying today okay now the big tika is right in the middle of that cut out there and the rod is 10 5 because seven inches got cut off but that that pipe it's got the bolt in it so it sits up a little bit high but anything lower than that, and it'll drag in the water too much. It's a little bit, it's dragging just a little bit. You'd be better off even with a 12 foot rod, but that's gonna be good enough. That's why it's gonna be used a lot this year. And if we hook something big and she can't handle it, 
because the rod's too long and it's too powerful, then I'll take it. Other than that, she's going to fight the fish until she can't do it no more. You can tell it's a slow day when she's bored and wandering around on the little piece of sand over there and her bait rod's all the way up here. She's always by her rod, but basically she knows nothing's going to bite it. I bet you she doesn't catch any. We, we stand as good a chance of getting a shark as she does the catch and a widen. But low tide's in about 45 minutes, an hour, and maybe it'll change then, but I doubt it. But I got those frozen whiting heads, so we're probably gonna stay a little bit. All right, it's low tide right now. We've been here seven hours. It's not really gonna show up on the camera here, but right here, if you look to the left, you got the hump of sand. You look to the right, the hump of sand. And right here, about 25 or 30 feet wide, is like a little funnel. So that is where the fish are going to come in if they're out there. So I guess we're going to stay to see if uh, anything changes. Because the surf fishing tip, when it's a slow day and nothing's happened, if you get a tide change, that can be the big difference of the day. And that's what we're coming up on right now, so we're going to stay. Plus the shark rods in the water. We'll see if that little funnel that she's fishing in shows up from this angle. Because you can clearly see the sandbar on the left and the little sandbar thing on the right. And that water's clearly deeper right in front where she's fishing. We want to see if the fish come in the funnel and she catches some. If, even if she catches just a couple whiting, that's pretty cool compared to uh, the last trip and now this one. We're almost 15 hours, one bite, one fish. All right, we're wrapping it up. We went fishing two days ago, seven and a half hour trip. We didn't film it because not only did we not catch anything, we didn't even get a bite. We fished almost eight and a half hours today, got one bite and it was the pompano she caught. So in 16 hours of fishing, we only got one bite and caught one fish. So we need to take a break, regroup and get ready for the next trip. Thanks for